this video we will talk about the Express PCB uh, program. Let's um, begin by uh, starting our program and the first time you start you will come up with this opening screen uh, asking you and inviting you to read the quick start guide and also the PCB design tips. What you need to do is to open these two documents up and read them from beginning to the end and you can also minimize them and keep them open uh, to refer to them as uh, you're moving through and uh, you're working with uh, Express PCB. For now, I'm going to close this down and I will maximize my screen so I will have in front of me uh, the entire uh, program and the larger area possible. So this uh, is going to be an overview kind of uh, information about how you navigate this uh, program. First of all, let me point uh, your attention to what you see in the middle of your screen. This uh, rectangular shape here in yellow is your circuit board. And as I move the mouse, if you look at here on the top left corner, and at the same time uh, while you're looking at the mouse pointer, pay attention to the X and Y coordinates on the bottom left of the screen. So, going back here on the top left corner, that's my origin. That's my X0, Y0 coordinate. As I move to the right, my X uh, increases. And if I move all the way to the uh, rightmost point of this board, uh, my uh, coordinate is 3.8 so the size of this board as it uh, comes up the default size is 3.8 inches in the X direction and if I move my mouse pointer down now you see the Y is increasing and over here on the bottom right corner is 2.5 inches so this board that you see the default size as you open up the program is 3.8 inches by 2.5 and uh, you can adjust this board we can make it smaller or bigger by just uh, clicking on the handles on the uh, on the three corners the three corners are there other than the origin and as you move those handles we can adjust the size of the board so let's say if I wanted to make this board 3 inches in my X direction instead of 3.8 pay attention to the X coordinate on the bottom left corner of the screen as I click down and I lift and I move my uh, my handle here to 3.0 on in the X direction notice how the shape of the board now is not uh, rectangular uh, using this method you can also create shapes of boards which are odd and not um, really rectangular or square so now I'm dragging the bottom right corner so right now I have a board which is 3 inches by 2 and a half okay? 3 inches wide by 2 and a half uh, high you can also adjust the uh, y coordinate the same way. Let's say I, if I wanted to make my board 2 inches I move this up until it goes to 2 and I keep it right there and then I will adjust this side over here to 2 inches and here it is. Now I have a board which is um, 3 by 2 inches. Okay, so that's what you see inside the screen. Now you can adjust the size of this board, the viewing size of this board by using these controls here. You can uh, zoom in and, and have a larger view of the board. You can zoom out, keep zooming out. And at any point in your zoom in and out, if you click this um, button here, it will bring in and do the zoom to fit function. So it will give you the best possible viewing for the size of screen that you have. Okay, so let's move on and talk about uh, the uh, menu bar up on the top. 
the, the file menu is very similar to the Express SCH with the addition of, few, of a few other commands that we'll come back and uh, go over later on. The edit um, command, uh, again, very similar to the Express SCH, um, but a few other commands uh, that have to deal with the different layers that we have on the uh, Express uh, PCB package. View, very similar to the previous command. Component allows you to uh, take the component and uh, change the orientation, rota rotation, and so forth. Here you have the layout. Um, the layout is different than the um, Express SCH. Actually, there was no layout command. And we will be getting into this um, as we go through the program. And of course, the help, very uh, useful menu. Whenever you have a question, go on to the help. And if you click here, click here on the online help, you will open up the interactive manual with hyperlinks. You can go to the exact section of the help menu that you would like to uh, read and get some more information. For example, if you wanted to find out about designing a four-layer PCB, you click on that and it will take you right there to that section. And uh, you can minimize that and keep it open. And uh, you can refer to it as you uh, go through your design. Now let me talk about the uh, these two buttons here, which are new to the Express PCB. The first one here shows the red layer and the red color red layer is always the top layer the green one is the bottom layer so you, if you have a component on the top layer and you would like to push it down to the bottom layer you select it and then you push it down to the bottom layer using this button if you have something on the bottom layer and you would like to move it up to the top while you're on the bottom layer you select it and then you click this button and pushes it up to the top. The buttons over here on the left are um, buttons or commands which are useful as we go through our, our layout process. Now, to be able to explain better all of these features, it is uh, always best if we had an application. And uh, with the program, there is a, a two or three sample PCB uh, layout uh, projects that have been shipped. So let's go and um, bring one up so we can uh, have it on the screen and use that as a demonstration piece. Uh, once you click on File, go to Open. And then it will ask you if you want to save this file that we have been working on. You say no, we don't want to save it. And then it will uh, ask you uh, from which folder to go and uh, load the uh, sample program. On my computer, I'll go back to uh, my computer so I can show you from the very, very beginning where to find those three sample programs. So if you click on my computer and go to Drive C, you need to go into the program files, parenthesis x86. Those are the older files uh, with the older operating system. That's where the program loads them. Double click on that and go and find the Express PCB folder. Double click the Express PCB folder and down here at the bottom you have these three files which, which have been shipped from the factory. The first one is a motor controller two-layer board, the second is a motor controller four-layer board, and the third one is a USB I.O. board. I believe that's a two-layer board. Let's click on the first one, the motor controller two-layer board. And here it is. Here is the board which um, uh, it has been created by one of the uh, persons at the factory where they uh, made this product. and. It is two layers. Now, this will enable us uh, to uh, navigate much easier uh, by having it on the screen and explaining the different buttons that you see on the left. Let me point your attention down here on the bottom.
bottom of the uh, left hand side of the screen where you see this eye and then you see a yellow uh, line over the top that's your silk screen layer the next one is the top copper layer and the next one is the bottom copper layer notice red for the top layer green for the bottom layer right now all of these are visible on our project if I wanted to make let's say only the top layer visible which is the red then I would just toggle here and turn off the silk screen notice that the silk screen everything in yellow went away and now I'm gonna click over here and toggle the bottom layer and now the green layer has gone away so what you see here is only the top layer and these are the traces these are the copper traces and these are the pads that you have for the top layer and these four large holes on the corners are mounting holes for this board to be mounted into a, an assembly now if I click here and uh, add the bottom layer now you can see in an x-ray view uh, fashion as if you could see it through the board from the top and you can see the top layer and the bottom layer if you had x-ray vision being able to see both top and bottom layer now you can see uh, the top layer in red and the bottom layer in green what uh, you need to pay attention to here which is an industry practice top layer the traces are routed in the vertical direction notice up and down up and down and then the bottom layer the green layer the traces are routed left and right horizontal they are at 90 degrees to each other this is an industry practice which makes routing of the board much easier and uh, you try to adhere to this and will make your life much easier when you are routing complicated projects let's go ahead and add the silk screen toggle the silk screen and here's your silk screen these are the components uh, the markings and the reference designators and anything else which will be printed on the top layer in ink if I wanted to see the silk screen only I can simply come here and toggle and turn off both the top and layer top and bottom layers and now I only have the silk screen this is actually something useful uh, to print in the service manual uh, so when a technician is trying to find a specific component to take some measurements or to uh, inspect it they can look at the silk screen and quickly identify where for example C9 is so this is um, a quick overview of the Express PCB and then in the next video we'll go into more detail of how you start a project and how you go about on designing your first PCB uh, layout.